do is try to upgrade this computer from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Windows has been bugging me every time it comes with an upgrade it's saying, you know, you're eligible for Windows 11. I'm going to actually try it. My biggest concern is that some things are not going to work, especially the older applications which were not designed for Windows 11. One of those is Camtasia, which if you don't know is a very useful software for screen capture. I have a 2018 version which works fine. I had no intention of paying the upgrade to upgrade that software. So um, I'm really hoping that that's still going to be able to work in Windows 11, although I'm sure it's not going to be supported. Most of the software I have is up to date and uh, it should be supported by Windows 11. So first of all, we'll see what the process is like. I'm just going to say, let's say up, update Windows update settings. Okay, so Windows update. It's already got the, all the software ready. You know, it's been downloading the Windows 11 software already. So it says it's pending a restart. Presumably, if I just restart this, then we're going to see Windows 11. As you can see here, I've got the Canon app and I'm going to close this. I'm just going to record direct from the camera. Okay, so I'm going to do the restart and let's see what happens. It's now ab about 10.47. It came back up. It just rebooted that one time and came up with a new screen. It looks like it's got, uh, you know, some something new here, new image, a new font maybe. And uh, we're just going to try going in. Let's see what happens. This is literally the first time. I'm going to put my pin, which I already had set up in the previous version. Okay, now the first thing I'm looking at it says MIDI driver is not correctly installed on this system. Do you want to fix it? Uh, I'm going to say yes, because I would like to do that. Do you want to allow this app? Yes, I do. MIDI driver installation fixed. Please restart the program. All right, so apparently I don't see much difference here. This is different over here. I'm just going to have to play around with this. Now, the one thing I was concerned about was Camtasia. Let's see if this works. Okay, so far so good. Let's do a new recording. We'll just test this out. Bring up a web browser. Go to guitarbasement.com. Let's see if we can record. Here we go. Three, two, one. So I'm just going to do that. Here's Guitar Pro 8. I'm going to bring that into the window. So I'm concerned about, you know, it's going to record the audio and the video and everything. So I'm going to uh, resume that and let's hit the play button with this one. Now it seems to be playing pretty fast there. That's that's nothing to do with um, Windows 11. That's just that I, I had a, the issue bringing the file back into Guitar Pro. Stop. Here's Camtasia. It's got something on the audio track. There's a double track there, which is the reason you get uh, we're getting that echo. I'm really happy because that works. About a year ago, I did a video and uh, advised not to upgrade to Windows 11 or at least that was my decision. I'm taking a look at the things I was concerned about at that time. Uh, there was Camtasia, which is working. I just downloaded a version of Audacity, which apparently at the time I did the video had some issues with Windows 11. And the last thing is the Logitech webcam, which I've got right now on top of my screen. And I'm going to plug this in for the first time. So I'm, I'm doing this. Uh, I'm doing this in real time. I haven't tried this before. I don't know if I have any Logitech software on here. Logitech Capture. Let's see if this works. Well, let's see. Number one, number two. Camera not available. Okay, HP Webcam 920. Oh, hello. You know what? This is working. One thing that is interesting to me is the way you can organize your windows. And when you go up the top here, if you haven't seen this before, let's see if it works in this one. Here we go. That You get a list or you get a number of different options here. So I could put that to the right. Uh, I can split the screen into three uh, or four. Uh, so I could put this into three apparently, right? So I can put that there. Uh, and it lets you have another software here that I had loaded before. I guess I could put this over there like that. Uh, I've got three windows like that. So there is only the Logitech. It doesn't play well with Windows 11. All in all, I like Windows 11 so far. You get, I think it's 10 days. And uh, within that 10 days, uh, you could roll back everything. Uh, I'll be doing a little bit more testing on here. 
but it looks good. So if you found this useful, give me the thumbs up. As I always say, stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you soon.